Good morning. Morning, morning. Apologies. Oh, hi, Carol. Morning, Jan. Morning, Derek. Um, it's not Derek, but you're using his profile. Morning, Chris. Sorry. So, apologies, team. It's just been one of those mornings. Um, morning, Lorraine. Um, there's traffic lights at the um, crossroads by the golf club, and I don't know if it's either not working properly or whatever, but I've just been stuck there for forever, forever and ever. And then Lila didn't want to come here this morning. She wanted to go to Nanny, so I promised her she could go to Nanny, so I obviously had to go and drop her off, so yeah. Right then, let's get going. Apologies for my, um, like, snotty... Um, nose and sounding voice but it's my hay fever it's terrible um it wasn't too bad yesterday and the day before in the sunshine you can see under my eyes actually but mine's always worse than it like when it's a bit like dampy sort of thing so this sort of weather just is not good for me once i think once it's been sunny and everybody's like cut their grass or whatever anyway let's get going please make sure you're feeling fit and well to exercise you've got no health issues injuries etc you've got plenty of space you've got your chair if you need it and you've got a drink so we're going to be doing lower body focus today so we're going to be doing the hit cd again cardio but lower body exercises because we did upper body and abs didn't we on tuesday okay then music's coming on let's get going happy easter weekend to you all as well Okay then team, let's take it to a march, here we go. Shoulders down and back, hips open and forwards. So I hope we're all doing okay. Good, so please remember you choose your workout level throughout, use the chair if you need to. Good. Keep going. If you've got your little weights and you want to use those, go for it. I'm just going to grab mine. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. So we'll point those tiptoes back down. If you want to use your little hand weights, go for it. If not, just by yourself. Knees stay nice and soft, team. Good. Fantastic. Keep going. Good. So again, you choose your tempo. Keep those knees soft. Exactly the same seated on the chair if you prefer. We can hold on to that chair all the more if you need a bit of balance as well. Fantastic. Into knee taps then, team. Shoulders down and back. Hips open and forwards. Alternating, you choose your tempo. Let's go. Well done. Good. Fantastic. You got it. Keep 
keep it moving. Well done. Nearly there. Fantastic. Oh, that guy. We're taking it to a right leg back. Holding on to the chair if you need to. Yeah. If you do want to work hard, you know, if you've got those little dumbbells, you can rest them on the hips. Good. Holding on there if you wish to. Supporting knee soft. That foot taps the floor every time for that basic option. If you want to work harder, that foot hovers. Good. Well done. Shoulders down and back. Keep going. Well done. Stay with it. Lovely team. So real lower body focus for this workout today. Brilliant. Taking it into our elbows to knees. Again, seated if you prefer. Shoulders down and back. You choose your range of motion and tempo as always. Here we go. So if you can't get the elbow to meet the knee, it doesn't matter. You can just initiate the knee from here. We're just going across the body to engage through those tummy and back muscles a little bit more. Good. Well done. Fantastic. Keep it going, team. Stay with it. Well done. Lovely team. Okay, left leg going back. Supporting knee soft, here and down. Hips open and forwards. Let's go. Well done. Keep going. Fantastic. Good work, team. Shoulders down and back, hips open and forward. Morning, Val. Don't worry if you think you were late, I was late. <laughs> Temporary traffic lights. There's traffic lights in Hagley where they're redoing the road. And in the high street, I think. Or you can only, you can only not access the high street one way, I don't know. I don't know, it just seems to be having a knock-on effect to everything. Well done, help yourself to a quick drink if you want one. And then there's a temporary traffic lights at the crossroads by the Salvage Golf Club. So, yeah. It's just all fun and games. Especially as everybody's starting to not go, you know, we're starting to go back to a little bit of normality, aren't we? But people are starting to like go or go places. So. Just seems like there's so much more traffic on the road. Well done then anyway, we're gonna take it into push backs, feet, knees and hips forwards, adding those arms if you can. If you're sat on your chair, just push that foot back in the gap in the middle, okay? In four, three, two, here we go. Hips open and forwards, well done. Fantastic. Good work, team. Keep it going. Okay, so our next exercise, we're going to be taking that leg out wide for a leg lift. Again, if you want those dumbbells, you can rest them, those weights on those hips. Alternatively, doing it without or holding on if you wish. Lovely team. Keep it going. Four, three, two, one. 
fabulous. So thanks. So if you want to, you've got your chair, and we're here and down, here and down, nice and controlled. If you're happy to lift and down, supporting me, nice and soft, hips open and forwards. Well done. So, have any of you got any nice plans for Easter weekend that you're going to be seeing family outside in the garden or you're going to be staying home or you're cooking anything nice, baking anything nice, more importantly. Lorraine, did you go and have a look for your new kitchen? Pick something nice. Well done. I'm going to do, we're going to do some baking. So, we go in and um, my well, mine and Tom's best friends and my goddaughter, they literally live over the road. We've seen them a lot over, like, we only ever go outside, but, um, well done at the moment. Pop that down, um, but normally, like, when you're allowed to go for, like, a walk, one of the person, me and Charlotte, would go for a walk. Fieldly, cross those arms, push your legs over the road, just easy, we take the dogs out together, etc. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go round to theirs and butler the garden. Um, and they've got rear access, which is easier. We've got to walk through our house to get to our garden. Um, so we're going to go to theirs on Sunday. The kids are going to do a little egg hunt. And hopefully the weather's nice. We're going to have a bit of a barbecue. And I'm making up enough of a cheesecake. Um, and yeah, that'll be nice, hopefully. Keep it going. Oh, big river beef. Yummy, Lorraine. Right, a simple cage, birth the other, never mind. Well done. Four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Other leg bend team. Yeah, we'll make a bit of a cheesecake. I might make some um, rocky roads and um, broken up mini eggs. Here we go. Hold on to the chair Don't know what else. Have a think. Might make some lemon curd and do some lemon curd cupcakes or a big lemon curd cake. So we'll see. We'll see. Fantastic. Keep going, team. Good work. Well done. Fabulous. Got it. Stay with it. Yes, you don't normally have a barbecue on Easter Sunday, do you? But because we're going to be outside, it's just so much easier. Well done. Then trying to do a sit-down meal outside, and if the bob, you know, if, it, if the rain is correct, if the weather's horrendous, Park Jack team, here we go. Then. You know, we can um, just not go and they can freeze the burgers and sausages and the buns, can't we? You know, so. Or whatever, we'll see. We'll see. But that's what we're doing. Looking forward to it. Fantastic. Keep going, T. Keep it controlled. Well done.
Right, halfway through then, help yourself to drink if you wish. <laughs> Hi, I'm Norm. They're back from their COVID jab or okay. So they might go for a rave this weekend because they can't catch it now, can they? <laughs> You're so funny. You should just go to one of these parks and just sit and... Um, with millions of other people, drink loads and just leave loads of litter everywhere. Oh my word, Lorraine, amazing. Very roulard, ginger and white chocolate cheesecake, as well as, oh, bread and butter pudding. Oh, I haven't had bread and butter pudding um, for ages. Right, front, side, front, side, front, getting distracted with the talk of food. I'm very hungry now. Well done. I made a lovely tea last night. Make it quite often. Well, I did, and then I got out of the habit of it. But it's like my version of a carbonara. So I love carbonara, and if I want carbonara, I'll have proper carbonara. But you know, like last night, it was really warm. But you wanted something filling, but a bit lighter, and also a bit lighter on calories. So I do like loads of veggies. I like um, in my cherry tomatoes, mushrooms, courgettes. I put spring onions in as well with some chicken. Fried it in a pan. Garlic, chilli, um, mixed herbs, what else? loads of black pepper. Oh, one more. Well done. Feet turned out then. Again, you can do this over your chair if you wish. Plie squat for me, team. Knees follow the direction of the toes. We sit down and back up, slide it down, sit down into it. Um, and I cook it and then um, did some pasta um, and then I add some creme fraiche. Um, and then we just had lemon juice and then I put some aspa uh, like asparagus tips and I had like about eight asparagus tips on the top. Oh, it was lovely. But I like you loads of different things, tarragon sometimes or chives, you know, just just so nice and like the fresh flavour. Sometimes you can't beat the classics with a bit of garlic, like chilli, uh, black pepper, can you? And then some lemon. Oh, so lovely. Well done. Fantastic team. One more. Perfect. Let's take it to a box step. Forwards, forwards, back, back. Heels down for me. Oh, fab. Hi, Di. Well done, Di. Do some painting. You're always bloody painting, Di. Yes, kids are looking forward to it tomorrow as well. Can't wait. So if you don't write him, they won't care anyway, it'll only be your smoking. Well done team, heels down. Do, 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 do. Keep it moving. No, we've got an Easter egg from Hunt. Well, um, Easter. I'm so tired as well, sorry. No, we've got an Easter egg from school. I'm on the PTA and um, we obviously haven't had many events, but we haven't had anything to really spend the money on for the kids either because you just can't do there's so many like restrictions they're like no you can't do that no you can't do that no you can't do that well done right a little lunge position right leg in front left leg back we're going down and up okay back heel is off the floor dumbbells if you can if not you're holding on it's just a down and up team so we're here so real leg focus this morning Good. So little movement. For some of you, your movement may be here and then back up. That's fine. You choose your level and work to it. So we decided we've got the money to be able to. So obviously all the eggs were already packaged up and they just got brought and quarantined. So they, they came out with an eat like a Cadbury's Easter egg. Yes, I was so chill. So bless you. We did loads of lovely. I'm a, I mean, obviously it's sad that we can't go and watch them in their Easter assemblies and all the rest of it. Especially when they're little, little, because then they don't, I mean, they should hopefully do some stuff in year one as well. But a lot of the time they only do some of the stuff in like the little years, don't they? Well done, we're going to go straight into the other leg team. So he's come out with his Easter hat and he made a beautiful Easter card and he's writing. So take it down. It's incredible how quickly they come on. So he goes to me and I think I wrote this for me. I'm like, well, I should hope so, because he says, to my family, happy Easter, love Noah. 
Well done team, down and up. Bless you. So, it's also crazy because it doesn't feel like, well we haven't been back very long, we haven't done a full term, but I'm so ready for half term. So, keep going. This morning and last night was the first time after the clocks had changed. So, my two would go into bed or what would have been their normal time, but then waking up loads later. So, they were sleeping in basically because obviously we lost that hour, it's like they were catching up. We tried to get them to bed a bit earlier, it wasn't happening. Well done. Into star, high, low, high, low. So last night was the first night Lila started to fall asleep at six, because obviously it will be seven minutes in. Here we go. We managed to hold her out just a little bit, got her to bed, and lower. And they were actually like in bed earlier and asleep. Um, and then they were both up by about quarter past seven this morning, which was like, you know, lovely, fine. Perfect. The problem was the last couple of days, well, since Sunday, and I've been having to wait now up at ten past eight to get him out of bed because he's just absolutely out of the count. Shovel his breakfast in. Like, go, go, gotta go. <laughs> so we actually weren't rushing this morning, which was nice. The problem is, it's like you try and wake him up, but you're so out of it. It's having a massive growth spurt again at the moment, though. Well done. Um, it's fallen over so many, well, it's fallen over three times at school that they've had to call me this week. Literally just tripping over nothing. But he's so like gangly again at the moment. <laughs> she was, she was, she was. That's funny that is. <laughs> Right, again, dumbbells if you wish. Left foot is planted on the floor, that right leg is going behind, so it's curtsy now. This is a balance challenge as well, hold on if you need to. Back in, off the floor, little curtsy down and up. Down and lift, you choose your range of motion. If you're happy with those dumbbells, go for it. If not, hold on to something if you need to. So did I tell you, did I say in the Tuesday session about my car and my washing machine? I think I might have, I don't know. It feels like it's been a long week this week. So my washing machine keeps leaving dark marks on, my, on clothes, not everything. Obviously like lighter clothes and just certain types of fabric. So the man came to look at it Wednesday and he was like, you've either got a build up of dirt, um, so I was like, great, she's telling me I'm dirty, or there's like um, the filter, around the filter or something, the seal has gone, it'll have corroded and basically rusty water, so it's like rusty, so it's like rusty water coming back in. I'm going to change legs, the team doing something on the other side. So he told me how to clean it, and said don't bother with these little sachets. So I stuck a load of vinegar in it, gave it one 90 degree wash, here we go. And then I've done a zone floor and a dishwasher tablet. So it smells amazing, it's the cleanest it's ever looked inside, apart from when I had it done. Um, and we're doing two loads, we're not doing any really like precious clothes, like Lila had those new beautiful dungarees, not even attempted to put those in, but just like pyjamas and things, it doesn't really matter, because um, you can still wear them. Um, we've been okay so far, so we'll see, because if it's the, the latter, then we've just got to have a new washing machine, as I say. And my car keeps kangaroo jumping as well, so if I came to look at it on Tuesday, and then yesterday, so he did something, and then I had to drive it and see if it was okay, it's no better. Um, well done, fantastic. Step curl for me team, please. Next. Um, so he came yesterday and said it is definitely this problem, because he wasn't sure to swap some over, I don't know. Um, and then it's happened again, and he's brought his machine, and it's gone beep beep, and he's said what it is. So he's coming today to fix that, but, we are, we are car shopping, I need to get a new car. So I just keep getting ready to go wrong with it. And I had it to run it into the ground, really. Now I've more or less done that, so I'm going to get rid of it and get something else. So. But it's just hilarious because Tom's like, so I'm just going to lease the car because with the kids, especially at the moment, like 
what I need now, I'm probably not going to need in like four years. And obviously, we're just like, we may as well just do that. It's just like, mate, it's life a hell of a lot easier. Because I haven't got any spare time. Uh, so, um, yeah, but he shows me all these cars. And he's like, we need to see what sort of thing you think you want. I'm like, it's a car. I'm not, I'm really not into cars at all. It's not my sort of thing. I just want it to be safe and to work. Look at the tiptoes, here we go. So, um, I know some people are really into their cars and amazing, but this doesn't do anything for me. I just want it to be big enough. I need a big enough boot, a big enough car to get two kids, a dog in, and then me and Tom if we go anywhere. So we, we went to work Forest on Sunday and we took the dog, and Tom's car actually looks really big, but she's got the two car seats in, but the dog has to try and squeeze in the middle, there's no room, she like, really struggles, so obviously we can risk taking my car. So, um, and he, she can't go in his boot because his boot is like slanted down. So yeah, we just need space really. I don't really care, I don't care what colour it is or anything like that. Well, actually, no. I think I would prefer it not to be white so that it doesn't show the dirt. <laughs> but that's the only reason. <laughs> okay, transfer the way, add that arse for me. Here we go, team. I think for those of you that know me, you know I'm not precious about this sort of thing, this car. Um, but I've got to make a decision, so I might just close my eyes and go that one. <laughs> no, I think I'm just going to find out the boot measurements and stuff and pick the, the biggest one in regards to what we can afford. So. Keep going. Well done, team. We also need something big enough to take us to Lake Street because again we're going to Tom's car but it gets a struggle. I mean yeah okay then we've got to take prams and stuff really now. Yeah. Well done team. Okay, final I think this is the final exercise. I've counted correctly. Been too busy chatting up like dumbbells if you can, slide them down, slide it back up, we're here. Push that bottom back, look at my back, it's nice and flat. My knees bend slightly. You can do this over your chair, so a bit like a squat with your bum hovering, just in case you're worried you're going to lose your balance a little bit. So it is a bit like a squat, but we're not bending those knees as much. The focus is the lower back, the glutes, and the hamstrings, okay? So we're here, nice and controlled. Trying to look forward as you do it. Obviously, I'll keep turning my head just to look at the screen too. But we're here. Weight through the heel, shoulders down the back. Don't bend those arms as you lift. Really controlled. Fantastic. Yes, I was right, even though I was still too busy yakking. Oh, okay, thanks, Lorraine. Thanks. Well, my Volkswagen's always actually been really good. It's only been probably the last 18 months, and I've had it a long time. It's done a ridiculous, it's done like, I think it's done like 135,000 miles, um, one foot in front. It has, uh, it has it, even though I said like I've spent a bit of money, it hasn't cost me anything, if you know what I mean, because I've just used it so much. Um, so it's been really good to me. It's never like properly like broken down or anything like that. And everything that I've had done, front side, because the car's not worth a lot now, especially because it got keyed on the side. Um, it's not worth a lot, so I've never said, I've said if it, anything costs more than like £200, I won't pay for it, but it's always been small jobs, so like, what the guy's going to come and fix, he has, it's not a lot of money actually, I'm across, I think he's cost, quote, quote to me like £65 to fix it, including his labour, so that's like really cheap, um, really, for a car, so that's okay, front thigh, but it's just, obviously, just keep then it will be something else, then it will be something else. So I do just need to upgrade really. Feel into the bottom, hips open, of And I just think now's the right time to do it because we've, before the gym we opened, we've got a bit of, I've still got a bit of spare time to like research into it. We'll just keep putting things off and then you're desperate for it. Change lives. I'd rather get my new car sorted and then either sell this or sometimes they take your old, you know, you can, they take it, don't they use it? I mean, they probably wouldn't want that one, but. 
get me new one and then get rid of the old one. One foot in front, sit down with those toes. And change sides, here we go. I forgot to buy mine and Tom's these drinks as well, we haven't got one, so I'll, uh, I'm going to go pop into town quickly before I'm going to pick Lila up. Feet wide, stretch it over. Even though we're going to have plenty of goodies anyway, so I don't really think I need to, but I might just have a little bit of lint raw chocolate, a little bit lint. That's my favourite. Change sides. Bring it in, one arm up, hang on with that push or pull. Release through the feet and ankles. Well done. And change, here we go. So even though I say oh, I don't know about cars, so Tom sort of is a bit, well, he's much more clued up than me, hands in front. He's done loads of research. I think Highland Eye was one of the ones he showed me actually when I down to the floor, big breath in. <laughs> Out and give yourselves a massive clap. Well done. Right, I hope you've enjoyed that. I've talked a lot today. Apologies. <laughs> Can you tell that I haven't, um, I'm so desperate to keep seeing people. Um, right then have a lovely easter weekend relax enjoy yourself we will be back on tuesday so next week tuesday and thursday is normal and then i'm going to post because the week after i've got my half term sessions um and i've sort of had to slot them around like where my mom can have the kids and stuff as well okay so i will let you know what we're going to be doing for that second week we'll try and slot them in at some other point and um, have a fabulous weekend then eat drink and uh, enjoy yourself okay have a good one and i will speak to you all next week Good, good, good Lorraine. Thank you and you. Enjoy all your puddings. Bye-bye.